For a man who is caricatured as an extremist, we think you'll find what he has to say moderate, sensible, and wise. Based on that intro, you would never think Tucker Carlson was talking about Donald Trump. But since the leak of Carlson's text messages calling 45 a demonic force, among other things, the Fox News host has been doing his best to change the narrative, including last night's insane interview. Welcome to TYT Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. In a blatant attempt to re-ingratiate himself with the MAGA crowd, Tucker Carlson hosted a wild interview last night with former President Donald Trump. Let's look at some of the highlights, such as Trump talking about the N-word. You don't mention, I call it the N-word. You have two N-words. You don't mention either one of them. The nuclear word you don't mention because the power is so destructive. I, met I won't even touch that. It is so low-hanging fruit. But on the topic of nuclear... Um, when I listen to people talk about global warming, that the ocean will rise in the next 300 years by one-eighth of an inch, and they talk about this is our problem. Our big problem is nuclear warming. I mean, nobody even talks about it. The environmentalists talk about all this nonsense in many cases. Look, I'm an environmentalist also, I guess, in my own way, because I've done a good job with the environment. But nobody talks about nuclear, the problem. The problem we have, the biggest problem we have in the whole world, it's not global warming, it's nuclear warming. And all it takes is one madman, and you're going to have a problem the likes of which the world has never seen. First, I've never heard of nuclear warming. And second, uh, I would like to think that the world's biggest problem for Trump may be amphetamine abuse, because those sniffles were really aggressive. I also would like to mention that Trump really seemed to struggle to stay on topic last night. It's one hour away from where China makes its nuclear weapons. It's one of the biggest Air Force bases in the world, I think the biggest, with runways that go 10,000 feet. I was keeping that because of China, not because of Afghanistan. Right. And they, they left everything. They, they left in the dark of night. They left the lights on. They left the dogs, by the way. You know, the people they say left about the dogs? the dogs. They left the dogs. Everyone, you know, the dog lovers. And you got a lot of them. I love dogs. You love dogs. But they left the dogs. People said, what? One of the first questions I got, what did they do with the dogs? I I'm not even going to touch a dog thing either. You know, Trump really went off on the rails, but he definitely had no problem sharing his love of foreign adversaries and sticking on that topic. He's a very smart Putin. Very smart. Now, he's had... How yeah. smart is he, could you tell? Top of the line. Top of the line. Yeah, they're all top of the line. Our, our guy's not top of the line. Never was. These are top-of-the-line people at the top of their game. President Xi is a brilliant man. If you went all over Hollywood to look for somebody to play the role of President Xi, you couldn't find it. There's nobody like that. No pushback whatsoever from Tucker, mind you. Sean Hannity had a more confrontational exchange with a former president than Tuck. The face of Fox News just let Trump go on and on and on. Because we can handle, if we're smart, we can handle Russia, China. I did. I took in billions and billions, hundreds of billions of dollars from China. No other president took in anything. And they respected me. He's the same thing, you know. I told him, you can't go into Taiwan. You can't. You can't do it. I won't tell you exactly what I said, but it was something that probably a lot of people wouldn't like if they heard it. But it was very tough. Don't go into Taiwan. So do you think that insane interview scored the points that Tucker wanted it to last night? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching. Who blew up the Nord Stream pipeline? Um, I don't want to get our country in trouble, so I won't answer it. But uh, I can tell you who it wasn't was Russia. Yeah. How about when they blamed Russia? You know, they said Russia blew up their own pipeline. You got a kick out of that one, too. It wasn't Russia. <laughs> pretty, pretty diplomatic answer for a man who's supposed to be crazy.